Hi, I'm Katie. In this week's industry news update, we're talking about a solar-powered airplane, Facebook's drone and its first test flight, and the possibility of Moore's Law coming to an end. The Solar Impulse 2, a completely solar-powered airplane, touched down last month in Abu Dhabi to complete its one-year trip around the globe. The plane traveled 26,000 miles, crossing four continents, three seas, and two oceans, all the while setting 19 official aviation records, including the world's longest non-stop solo flight. Using only energy from the sun, the plane traveled for four days, 21 hours, and 52 minutes to get from Japan to Hawaii. Solar Impulse 2 can be recognized by its wacky dimensions. Its wingspan is longer than a Boeing 747, but it only weighs 5,000 pounds. Powered by over 17,000 solar cells, the plane's average flight speed is just 43 miles per hour. Now, ABB was a major financial contributor to the project and helped provide dedicated engineers to help with certain electrical solutions. ABB updated electrical devices on the plane to ensure the solar panels produced as much electrical energy as possible. They worked on the cockpit battery to ensure the pilot control systems were reliable, and they helped manage the electrical system for Solar Impulse's mobile hangar. Of course, this journey is a historic one, and the Solar Impulse claims this, of course, is just the beginning. In another bit of solar-powered flight news, Facebook recently announced that its Aquila aircraft completed its first test flight in Arizona. Aquila is a high-altitude, unmanned aircraft powered by solar energy. Facebook plans to use Aquila drones to bring affordable internet to hard-to-reach places across the globe. Aquila will be able to circle a region up to 60 miles in diameter, beaming connectivity to Earth from an altitude of 60,000 feet using lasers and wave systems. The drone's wingspan is larger than a Boeing 737 and it weighs just 1,000 pounds. It will fly at speeds up to 80 miles per hour and because it just uses 5,000 watts of power to fly at the cruising altitude of 60,000 feet, it will be able to stay in the air for 90 days at a time. The full-scale testing stages have only just begun, but Facebook plans to bring aviation records as well, including the record for the longest unmanned aircraft flight. And could Moore's Law be nearing its end? Moore's Law is the observation that the number of transistors in a dense integrated circuit doubles approximately every two years. But according to the Semiconductor Industry Association, that trend will be coming to an end. A recent report claims that 2021 is the year that it will no longer be feasible to continue shrinking transistors for use in microprocessors. Moore's Law is used by the semiconductor industry to set benchmarks for research and development. It helps companies like Intel, IBM, and Micron figure out where they are in production and where they need to be in the future. In order to fit more transistors on a silicon chip, the transistors must shrink. But analysts say by 2021, we will have exhausted all the various tricks to create fine and finer geometries on silicon wafers. Chip makers will instead experiment with new transistor designs, vertical geometries, and 3D structures to get more processing power out of a small space. But silicon wafers have to process several more times to do this, each step introducing a greater potential for alignment error that renders a chip useless, and there is also an increased cost. A chief analyst believes that the end of Moore's Law will drive a shift towards dispersed computing. Tapering the size of integrated circuits does not mean fabrication efficiency will stagnate. 
Cheaper production costs that leverage the Internet of Things will put huge processing power into technologies that are otherwise cost prohibitive today. That's it for this week's update. Stay tuned next week for more news in electronics, automation, and robotics.